Y'all remember your first kiss, your first love? What a feeling. I remember mine. I was buying her flowers, getting her chocolates, being all romantic. I love you, baby. I love you too. And then it crashes and your heart gets broken and you're like, I don't f with you. Yeah, we do not. You little stupid bitch, with you. Who's the loser now, Trisha? Yeah, Trisha, who's the loser now? No, I personally could never be hurt by a woman because I'm a man. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> but if there was one that made me feel how do i say this disappointed you know dissatisfied tomato tomato it would have been my high school ex too bad i had no <laughs> oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to scare you i just get a kick off of scaring people but that brings us to today's story the first time i got a girlfriend and why my mom wanted to fight her i had to defend my ex it was insane so grab your chips grab your popcorn tell your grandma to sit down let's get into it i'm in class and i sat with two different girls emma and nikki they were both very beautiful kind young ladies but i specifically had a crush on emma and while yes this may sound corny and cheesy i really just thought she had the most beautiful authentic booty i've ever seen <laughs> yo that thing was thick and it was the perfect size i mean let me tell you something i don't know what they call that stuff but that little like caramel man you gotta stop playing i mean if they give me one right now tear it up live now I know you guys are gonna be like, Sticks, what about her personality? I have no idea. She like breathed there or whatever, but other than that, she seemed pretty basic. No offense if you're watching this, Emma. Much love. And then we had Nikki. She was on the volleyball team with them, and I thought she was very beautiful too. But I had two homies that liked her, and I wasn't trying to interfere. It seemed like they had it under control, so I didn't bother trying to get to know her. You feel me? Our teacher comes by, and she assigns us this book project. I'm like, cool. They're all quiet and nervous, probably because they were humbled by my presence. <laughs> it's a very common thing for these women to be infatuated by their highness so in order to break the ice i plan on asking emma the question something i've been perfecting for years everything was on the line my dignity my honor and i was about to risk it all risk it for this biscuit Ow! <laughs> All right, pimp, you got this. Hey, Emma, you got a pencil I could borrow? But before Emma says anything, Nikki looks at me, then says, I have one. Dang it. Not you, Nikki. Was I talking to you, Nikki? Was I looking at you? Why are you breathing right now? <laughs> okay, that's too hardcore. I'm sorry, Nikki. Psych. You ruined my life and you broke my heart. You know, she's trying to flirt with me or whatever. I know I'm beautiful, charismatic, heroic, intelligent, valorous, and of course, my favorite one, humble. But I'm a loyal man and we can't be having all this chemistry photosynthesis is just not a good look on me but my future wifey emma didn't seem to object so i said all right nikki whatever i'll take your pencil so i started talking with nikki and we got along well she was a cool person but i'm not that easy to seduce you feel me class ends and before everyone leaves i asked them oh can i get you guys a snapchat so i can hit you up about the project nikki says of course and emma says oh i don't have a phone this girl emma was getting on my nerves first she ain't got a pencil and now she ain't got a phone things was not looking good for me so i pull up my obama phone type in nikki she typed in her snap i added it then we ended up texting later that night a couple months passed by and me and nikki get really close and one night when we were texting i asked her hey what's up with emma oh haha ha, what you mean oh yeah i was just curious if she had a boyfriend you feel me oh nah she doesn't how come I don't know. She seemed cool, I guess. Oh my gosh, she like Emma. Ah, ha, ha, I knew it. Ooh. So I asked her to keep it between us two, and she says, yeah. But after about three, four weeks, I felt comfortable talking about Emma with her. So every time I saw her in the hallway, I would tease her and say, where your friend at, Nikki? Nigga, where your mom at, nigga? I made it very clear with Nikki that I was just messing, you know. I mean, I liked Emma, but I wasn't trying to have her go and tell Emma because I was a scared teen. And I couldn't let Nikki find out. Well, after enough time, she must have caught on because I show up to school. And this female Nikki did me so dirty in front of Emma. Hey, what's up, guys? What y'all got going on? Nikki said he wanted to tell me something. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nope. Yeah, you keep bringing it up to me, so I decided you should tell her. I, uh, give me a second. I gotta check this text message real quick. I just got, nah, I see you. That's a calculator. <laughs> oh, bro, Emma's looking at me. It was so awkward. You know that scene in Key and Peele when he's sweating? That was 
B. She humbled me real quick. Our teacher starts teaching, so I got away. But after that class period, I felt so defeated. I'll admit it. The only time a girl beat me in anything. True story. She had me walking out that class on some. I'd rather die before I come in last. I ain't feel like this in a long time. Any chance I thought I had with Emma was gone. I'm at lunch and I'm thinking, yo, how did I fumble the ball so hard? And this is when everything changed because my boy Justin, who's a country boy, tells me, well, I'll be darned, sticks. I just found out some crazy news. What you talking about, Willis? Well, I just heard that someone likes you. Okay, haha, ha, very funny, bruh. What, Nikki put you up to this? It's funny you bring her up, cause she's the one that likes you. What the fu- You see, Justin was one of my friends that had a crush on Nikki. He had also been friends with her for a lot longer than me. So when I heard this, I actually believed him. And I remember thinking to myself, I never felt so used in my life. I'm out here thinking she's trying to be friends and she's out here lusting over me. You know, all these women are the same trying to use me for my body. Why they gotta be so shallow? <laughs> so I, I get up from my seat, look for her in the cafeteria and she's nowhere to be found. So I go to the hallway to give her what she wants and then i see her and she sees me i squint my eyes make a little smirk she blushes walks inside this classroom and i think to myself boom i knew i knew for a fact she liked me at that moment i walked inside the bathroom to gather my thoughts and i know i may have dissed nikki a couple times but i caught feelings immediately hey baby emma who? i was like irra irra let the bass drop and then I got butterflies. I was feeling anxious, shaky. I couldn't stop thinking about Nikki. Yuck. But <laughs> back then, I was all in my feelings or whatever. So I go to my boy Jaden's house. I text Nikki. I know you like me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Yeah, he's lying. <laughs> you know, she's trying to like just cap. I'm like, no, hey, shh. You're with daddy now. <laughs> I didn't say that. That was too bold for me at the time. But we started dating. Oh shoot, my DoorDash just came in. Hey, give me a second. I'll be back for part two. Oh man, these fries smack. Hey, I told y'all to get your food. Sorry, I usually eat with my mouth closed, but I felt like being a degenerate today, so. Where was I? Oh yeah, yeah, so, you're probably thinking, what a happy ending. But this is where everything went downhill. Just balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, because poor Nikki had no idea what she had just gotten herself into. Fast forward three weeks and I had just gotten suspended. And two days after that, I got in a fight. I ran away from home. The police came. But who stood by my side this whole time? My girl, Nikki. We're in the hallway during lunch and she asked me, where have you been? Just hanging around. <laughs> That's not funny. You're just going to ignore my messages for two weeks. It got quiet. I looked at her eyes, looked down and up, and boom! I'm not trying to get graphic. That's just not P, but we was doing our thing. In fact, we got carried away being horny teenagers because by the time lunch ended, there was makeup all over my face, but I didn't know this. And I don't know why she didn't tell me either. Maybe she wanted to claim me as her territory like some freaking hyena, but I was walking to my next class and I noticed people were laughing, but not just at anyone, but at me. And it was at that moment that I realized it's time. <laughs> but for real though, I didn't even process they were laughing at me during that time. I take my seat, which happened to be my stepdad's class. He begins teaching and then I noticed my friend Brooke is laughing at me and I I really felt disrespected at this point because did she talk trash from time to time? Yes, but she would never just laugh at me for no reason. So I say, yo, what's so funny? How was your time with Nikki? What? What are you talking about? Hey, Mr. G, can you please send sticks to the office? My stepdad looks at me weird, but he doesn't say anything. So I'm all excited I get to go home early, not knowing I'm about to get cooked by my strict Christian mother. And with all the other things going on, this was her tip stone hey mom where are we going yeah you have a doctor and I oh what's that on your face I check the mirror and everything clicks no oh I had this on my face the whole time at school why didn't she tell me mother budger stupid
<laughs> Sorry, that wasn't very classy of me, was it? I felt betrayed. Not like she did it on purpose. Nah, but she did, though. I swear she did, because she blocked girls on my Snapchat all the time. Not that I would have done anything. She was just insecure or whatever. But now I'm in a predicament. I wiped the makeup off my face. My mom's yelling at me, giving me a whole rant while I'm barely processing what just happened. Until I heard, oh, I'm going to go inside the school and find her. You going to find who? Nikki. What? What are you talking about? That doesn't even it makes sense you ain't gonna do that she then gets out the car and starts walking to the school entrance i was flabbergasted absolutely stunned no tack mask my mom hit me with the concussion the flashbang she caught me slipping conceived to collapse so i jumped out the car to de-escalate the situation whoa slow down Danelle. nah i'm about to have a talk with nikki right now now you're tweaking excuse me oh you wait until i'm inside that classroom hey wait no hey Chill, chill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been making the best decisions as of recent, but I promise I'll do better. And I want to see your grades up. All right. Yeah. And for the next three months, I did pretty decent, but that's when the El Chapo series takes place. So if you want to hear it, subscribe. Please, my bed is broken. I'm trying to fix it. That's kind of sad. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. I love y'all.